Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about microorganisms in soil and their importance. As we know, the microorganisms are almost omnipresent and are characterized with a very high degree of adaptability. The microbial world is spread over the entire biosphere that is lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. So our lithosphere is going to be comprises the solid components that is the rocky substances of the continents whereas the hydrosphere is all going to be of uh, includes the liquid components like water, in oceans, lakes, rivers on the land and the atmosphere is a gaseous mantle which envelops the lithosphere and the hydrosphere. So we have discussed about the microorganisms in air and their importance in another video. You can go through it. Now, coming to the microorganisms in soil and their importance. So first of all, let's have a glance of the characters of soil and then we will move to the uh, microorganisms. So as we know, the soil is the surface layer of earth on which the human civilization depends for its existence. Actually, this soil represents the loose upper crust of the earth, which is going to be distinctly uh, from the underlying bedrocks. That means this is going to be very porous in nature and very uh, smooth and it is going to have a smoothy and loose nature when compared to the bedrock. And its depth, color and composition is going to vary from place to place. But all soils are going to have some common things. They are going to be of inorganic that is mineral components and organic matter, water and gaseous phases. So every soil is going to be made up of a succession of layers that means uh, there will be some certain layers which are going to be collectively called as soil profile reaching down to the parental material. And the soil profile that means this soil layers is going to be of having two or more horizontal layers which we simply call as soil origins or simply origins. And these origins are going to vary in thickness, mineral composition and structure from one place to the other place. So coming to the structure and the properties of the soil we will discuss in another video. Okay, so here I am giving a brief note of all those origins. So these origins are going to be indicated by the letters A1, A2, A3, then B origin, then C origin, okay, and the bedrock which is going to be considered as a O origin or B origin. So if you observe here, it is going to be of a topmost soil is going to be of a, a origin contains A1, A2, A3, often very rich in the humus and the minerals. Then coming to the subsoil, B origin is poor in humans but rich in minerals. Then the C is going to be the weathered rock fragments, little or no plant or animal life. And the bedrock is going to be of completely B origin where there will be only the rock. So no existence of any life. So the soil fertility is going to depend not only on the presence of inorganic and organic uh, substances that is minerals but also on the presence of various species of microorganism which influences the quality composition of the soil. So this concept is the one which we are going to discuss. So here the existence of the soil that means the storehouse of nature furnishing substances and all plants animals men and other organisms is going to be of uh, uncountable periods that is coming from dates back to the uncountable periods even long before the man appeared on the scene so here there are a uh, different number of plants animals and finally the man populated the earth and the soil and supported them all entirely without human assistance. So that soil is vastly complex material on the face of earth is a fundamental truth to be understood in its study. So being a common commodity or a soil that means it means a different thing to a different man in different aspects. For example, if we take a geologist, geologists preferably consider uh, that soil is to be the outermost or outermost loose crust of the earth's surface. 
quite distinct from the bedrock lying beneath. And when coming to the former, it is a medium that is soil is a medium to grow his crops in and from which the plants obtain their mechanical support and many of their nutrients. Coming to a chemically, that means to a chemist, chemically the soil is endowed with a magnitude of organic and inorganic substances and not found in the underlying strata. Indeed, it functions as nature's chemical laboratory in various dissolutions and synthetic processes go on continuously in a hidden manner. Then in consider to of uh, Lehman, that Lehman, however, always of the opinion that soil is a dust, essentially a dead material sustaining nothing like uh, life within it. With regard to origin and evolution of life, the soil is going to be considered as a depository of all lives within which are carried outmost of uh, the transformation that enable life to continue. So ecologically, to an ecologist, soil is the most dynamic component that is the lithosphere of the global environment encompassing distinct communities of organisms in its realm. For an engineer, it is going to be the soil as a substratum on which structures can be built, but nothing could be further from the truth. Then to a microbiologist, that means a microbiologist to say that uh, soil appears to be a dynamic body on the surface of the earth, which is going to have the pulsating with life due to the presence of myriads of microorganisms. So this is the area where we are related that microbiologist is going to think that with life due to the presence of myriads of the microorganisms. So soil is going to be a dynamic body on the surface of the earth, which is going to possess the different uh, sources of life with the help of these microorganisms. Then moving to the soil components. So soil is going to be comprised of uh, five major components such as inorganic matter, organic matter, then soil air, then we are going to have the soil water and soil organisms. So the inorganic matter is derived from the weathering of uh, parent rocks, air and water are derived from the atmosphere and are present in the soil. Then coming to the organic matter is derived from the decomposition of the organic matter. And the soil organisms constitute the most vital, that is vital constituent of uh, the soil. And the soil in fact are excellent culture media for the growth of uh, various organisms. And these soil organisms are majorly divided into two categories. One is going to be of uh, organisms studied with a microscope, examples bacteria, cyanobacteria, microfungi, mi microalgae and protozoa and the organisms which are going to be studied by our naked eye. So that second category refers to the remaining organisms, mostly animals which can be studied by our naked eye and some are even quite larger. Then factors influencing soil microorganisms. So what are the different factors that are influencing the presence of these soil microorganisms in the soil means uh, the great amount of microorganisms nearly 10 lakhs per cubic centimeter is found generally in the top layer of the soil up to a depth of 5 to 15 centimeters. So that as many microorganisms can be found in that cubic centimeter of the soil. In deep layers, it is going to be of from 1.5 to 5 meters individual microorganisms are found. In 2 grams of the soil, that means if you are going to take the 2 grams of the soil, 200 million bacteria in clay and 5000 million in the black soil can be. That means it is different, being different. That means the uh, presence of microorganism getting different from soil type to soil. So here in the clay, if you are going to see, you are going to possess the 2000 million bacteria, whereas in the black soil, it is going to be a 5000 million bacteria. And what are the factors that are going to influence means? There are a number of uh, factors which are influencing the different kinds of microorganisms in soil, like the depth, then that means the depth of the soil, the organic matter composition, the temperature of the soil, then pH of the soil, 
moisture content of the soil and aeration of the soil. So other factors such as chemical reactions in the soil, state of cultivation of soil also determines the number and the what type of uh, microorganisms in the soil are present. So this is all about the introduction to the soil microorganisms and their importance. In the next part, we will discuss about the different types of uh, microorganisms that are present in the soil. Thank you.